Hey everybody, my name is Holly Lamb and today I'm going to be bringing you some ideas of different Christmas trees for around your house during this holiday season. And this first one, I was cleaning out the uh, kind of the cabinets underneath my hutch in the dining room and had lots of different little glasswares and votives and little trays and dishes. And uh, I was uh, I also picked up a few of these at thrift stores. And so I was taking off the tags, you know, normal stuff when I get it home, get everything cleaned up. And I decided I was gonna try to make a, a Christmas tree with just these different little uh, plates and votives and uh, put some of the tea lights with timers in them and uh, try to stack them up and make a Christmas tree out of them. So uh, here I go, I was just cleaning all these up. I decided to go with just the clear glass and anything with the green in it. So I, I wanted to maybe put it on that pedestal. That was from the trifle dish, my Pampered Chef trifle dish. But it didn't sit flat. It didn't sit flush. It was going to be wobbly. And my goal here is that nothing is wobbly. So I'm going to try lots of different um, d designs on these. But I'm going to be putting in these timer uh, tea lights. These are LED candles, tea light candles. And I get these from Amazon. And I've got these linked below in the description box. And also the batteries. So if I put a battery in and then set the timer about 5.30 or 6, then I won't have to think about these little LED lights for, oh gosh, a good two months. Um, they'll last for the whole season plus. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to decide how I'm going to put a little bit of light in this Christmas tree and how it's going to be able to sit flush and not see there was a little wobble there. So I, I want it all to sit so if the table gets knocked a little bit, it's not going to topple over and scare somebody and with, you know, crashing glass and whatnot. So I wanted to put some tea lights there at the bottom. So if one's going to make it wobbly, how about we see if we can fit three or four in there and give it a good base. And so there, they're just super easy to, to change. They're just these little button batteries. And... Uh, very affordable, and again, they, they last for a really long time. They have a nice glow, and they flicker just a little bit, but not too much. So there we go, nice and even. I had the votive turn kind of upside down on that first one and had a candle under it. Now I flipped it over. I found this cloche um, over in uh, another little cabinet in my hutch in my living room, and I thought that might make a nice topper. I was trying to fit that last little clear glass piece in there, but that was not going to be uh, sturdy. It was going to be wobbly. So I just decided to double up on the, the candles and uh, put those in that green votive. And here we go. My little glass Christmas tree. I love the way that um, cloche looks like looks on the top there. That really kind of finishes it off. And it's just glowing and looking so pretty. That was a lot of fun. No glue involved, just gravity. Just making sure it was gonna lay, sit flat on each piece. I love how that looks. All right, these little guys I found at Target for a dollar each, and they have kind of an iridescent sheen to them, real pretty. I, uh, you know, didn't want to paint them. I, I love the little look there. I thought it would look nice on that um, buffet table in my kitchen. So uh, with the um, my little glass Christmas tree. But I wanted a little different base. And uh, uh, so I decided to use these little mosaic um, accents, rocks. And this, of course, is Hobby Lobby, if you recognize the brands. And so that was going to come home with me. They have lots of different ones. And sometimes these go on half off. Um, every once in a while and so when they do that makes these little bags is super affordable I like the white as well, but I kind of like the natural um, The white would look good with these Christmas trees Now these right here these big stones round stones. Those are great for we use those at church for hiding rocks to paint little things on to hide around the church for people to find and uh, and then of course this, these are $2.50 for the bag, so when they're half off, it's the same price as getting it at the Dollar Tree. And uh, the, the sea glass is not always easy to find at the Dollar Tree, so 
Hobby Lobby might be a, a sure find for there if you're looking for a sea glass. Okay, so now I'm going to just do some um, layering of these little pretty little kind of mica filled rocks. They're nice and flat, so I thought I would just use some uh, hot glue and uh, in case I wanted to use them for a different project some other time. And this would hold it for now. So I wanted it to be kind of asymmetrical, uh, nothing to be too uh, even, or I just wanted the tree to sit on top and the, the base to be just, a, just ever so slightly bigger. So a few of those rocks were just not quite big enough. But I stacked them as best I could. I did some two, some with one, some with three. I didn't go any higher than three. Trying just to use the one bag with my, uh, let's see, how many did I have there? Five? Five little trees. There were two designs. I think in the end I saw eventually there were three, but I only had two the day I was at Target picking these up. And so I just fix and fiddle. And I get out my glue gun. And of course we know that, that hot glue is gonna stick to this, but it's not gonna hold forever. So it will be able to we'll, we'll be able to pop these apart eventually. <laughs> so indecisive. So pretty though. I love the way they look. Kind of this uh, fussy iridescent uh, sheen on the trees and then the natural look on the rocks. I thought was a nice was a nice look. Yep. Little blob of glue. I don't want it to show, so I didn't want to put so much that it was going to ooze out. Just enough to where it would hold them together for now. I didn't need to, them to be, you know, use E6000 or anything, uh, fix all adhesive, anything that was a little more permanent. I wanted them to be temporary. Now I tried to put a tea light inside. That would have been pretty if I could have gotten some light in there, but they just were just too small to stick the tea lights inside of, unfortunately. But I love the way these turned out. So they're just right, sitting right here beside my little glass Christmas tree and underneath the book tree that I made last year in a video from uh, 2022. And I just love the way these look. And they're all their different little styles. Oh, I guess I did do one with four. Look right there, sure enough. I love them. Those are just simple and fun. Just hot glue. All right. Now, this is in our Habitat uh, Restore. And um, I found this box of um, feet. These are, I don't know, sofa feet, big chairs, comfy chairs. That might have been some kind of, I don't know, probably a couch um, feet. And they uh, just sell them individually they were had two dollars on them now this one had some unfinished wood on it and i uh just in case this showed i didn't want it to be unfinished looking i wanted it to all to be you know have that dark finish so i used the waverly antique wax on that and then the the trees we're going to be putting onto these little cuties i just wanted those to look rustic but i did not want the antique wax to bleed into the the fabric of these trees. I'll show you what I'm going to be using in just a sec. So this is my um, new favorite, the Super Matte Mod Podge. Okay, so here is what I do not want that antique wax to go up into this beautiful bright white dusting cloth or dusting, um, what do we call those? Uh, anyway, it's for dusting. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it was at the Dollar Tree and I got um, four of them. And uh, I saw uh, Teresa Green from Our Green Acres, and she made one of these. And um, I can't remember what base she put it on, but uh, she's used those bun feet before from couches and, and big comfy chairs. And uh, so, I, you know, this was just kind of fussy. Just I just would trim and shake and trim and shake. And then uh, this one had a little a button on the bottom to protect the floor. And, but that was not going to make my tree sit flat uh, and flush to the table. So I, I heated it up with my heat gun. And then I just took my little pallet knife there and I wiggled it right out. It was just like a big nail, a big push pin in there. And I didn't want to distress this too much. I like the color. 
This one was the, the different color. I did three in the dark wood and then this one in the light wood, but I just love the shape of that of that bun foot. It looks like a big roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two zip ties. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of loosely put two on here. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of hot glue and those two zip ties to get my uh, little duster tree to stand up straight and nice and sturdy. And so there goes one, tying it all the way to the bottom and then a little farther up of that um, bolt or screw, I guess it was, that goes into the, into the couch or whatever this comes out of. And then I put some hot glue in it and I'm letting that dry. And so I'm kind of doing the same thing to this one. I gave this a little bit more distressing than I did the uh, lighter color one because I like the way that two-tone looked on that darker wood. And I did distress the little edges of that first foot there. Now this one was losing um, hair or losing the, the fur off of his fur tree. And so I put a little bit of hot glue, a little blob of hot glue down here at the bottom to keep it from losing its hair. And then while it was still setting up, I put it on top of the you know, a little bit more blob of glue to make sure it's not going to lose any more hair. And then I'm going to set it right down onto the screw there coming out of this foot. And then I'm going to come in with another zip tie. And while that glue is drying, I'm trying to be careful to avoid glue. I don't want to burn my finger. I'm going to hold it still because the glue is still drying. And I'm going to zip tie that to the bolt there with two zip ties to make sure it's not gonna wobble. Just love zip ties, they're so easy to work with. And there we go. Nice and sturdy as that glue dries. Gave it a little bit more fussy trimming. I could have trimmed on those for hours because I didn't want to do too much, but I didn't want to do too little, you know, and then I would shake it and turn it and trim some more. Yep. And I saved all of my trimmings because now see this one where that, that one that I just finished was losing hair or losing the fur. I'm going to use that because I've got a little hole in this one with the lighter color wood base. And so I'm just putting a little blob of glue on some parchment paper and then setting, kind of making little tufts of the, um, the duster fur or duster hair. And so I'm going to be able to use these to as kind of a filler for this little hole where the um you know where I had zip tied it to that to that bolt I just needed I had a little hole and so I'm just going to fill that up with these little tufts of uh duster fur I'm just going to glue them in there and then I'll come back in and trim all that off so here comes all my little tufts and I just kind of shape it a little bit there on the glue, the dry glue. Oh my, it's looking like a mess right now, but it's, I promise it, it turns out looking really nice. It kind of evens it out a little bit. Now I am saving all those little bits and pieces and I'll show you what I use for, um, use them for one of the projects I used all this extra uh, snow for. This is perfect for just the snow. Uh, I'm going to mix it together with some of that Dollar Tree snow and with that has that little glittery sheen to it for my next project. And that looks really nice. So this stuff turns out to be great snow. Yeah. And then just more fussy cutting. Saving all those. This one in particular, I did trim a little bit tighter the ones with the darker base, there it is. Good Toby over there on the couch. This is what he does all day. Goodness, he's a cutie. So this one I trimmed up a little bit tighter and then these are a little bit shaggier. And I like them both. You can see down there at the bottom, I just wanted it to look like it just naturally kind of snowy and, and drippy and pretty. I like the way these dark bases look on the dining room table 
with my winter holly dishes that uh, Kevin and I have been collecting for years now. That blue with the little cabin. Now, to go with the with that royal blue, I took my snow, all extra cuttings off of these trees, and I made this little snowman from just glass pieces that I found at the Dollar Tree and a little pair of socks, little baby socks, all from the Dollar Tree. So there's my collection of all my snow, of all my little cuttings there. And I've, again, I used the faux snow from Dollar Tree that has some sparkle in it. Looks very iridescent and pretty. And now I had three different sizes. And so I had the big one and the little fish bowl. And then I used this big kind of tall, um, gosh, decanter? Do you think that's a good decanter shape? I don't know. But uh, I thought this one was a good shape for the top so it could hold on to my uh, sock and it wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have to stuff it full of anything. It would just kind of uh, sit up nicely on the snowman's head. And so there I go. I couldn't fit, fit my fingers down into this one. So uh, I uh, used a pencil and a little bit more glitter just to make him cute and sparkly. And then here come my tea lights again. Uh, I'm going to, oh, well, first I'm going to put his face and his little buttons on. So I put two little circles on. Oh, yeah. I knew the tea lights came in at some point. I put two circles on each of the, the bottom two fish bowls. And then I drew the face on the bottom part of the um, top. And then the stop, little stop, uh, stock, I want to say stocking, sock goes on the top for the hat. And there we go. Real simple. Those are just those Sharpie uh, paint pens from Walmart. They last a really long time, and I love the Sharpie brand. You know, I'm a teacher, and we always keep Sharpies in our purse. You never know when you're going to need a black Sharpie. Or gold in this case. <laughs> uh, it's holidays anyway. Okay, so there we go. They just fit so nicely together with their little lights. Now the hot glue, of course, is removable. And here comes little Snugadoo socks. So I basically put the hot glue on there so that it wouldn't slip and slide around. It's almost like, um, you know, the bottom of a rug, the, the rubber parts of the, of a bottom of a rug. So it will not slip around. Again, if the table gets bumped, I don't want the top part, you know, jiggling off or making a mess. Uh, so that hot glue is just in a very tiny, um, you know, a little bead of glue. And it's just keeping it steady. Because I, I actually go back and put some little trees from the Dollar Tree in the bottom. Here in a minute I'll show you. Uh, because I thought it just needed a little extra something. And I had a little tree theme going on here with my winter um, winter holly uh, dishes. He's so cute. And there's my snowflakes I made from bags. And then there you go. I put the little those little teeny tiny trees that you get at the Dollar Tree down in the bottom around his little candle. Oh my goodness. So he's a little bonus. I was just doing trees in this video, but you know, I had all that snow. I had all that, the cuttings from those trees and I just love the way that looks in the dining room. So fun with the blue and the green and the white. Mm, my red poinsettia. Okay, now this is a really special tree here. Um, the past fall, as you've known, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I had a hysterectomy. I had a little malignant tumor in my um, that I had to get removed. And so hysterectomy it was. And uh, so I've been out of school for, I was out of school for four weeks and then Thanksgiving week. So I went back a week early because I just couldn't stand it. I had to get back to business. And uh, I spent the last two weeks at school with my students and that was great, great medicine. But I had so many well wishes and so many get well cards. I could honestly make a couple more of these trees. But I took um, several of the cards from my friends and family that sent me uh, get well cards. And I cut halfway down the fold. And then I just punched a few little holes in each side with my little hole punch. 
And then I'm just going to slide these into this, uh, you know, white tree from the Dollar Tree. It's almost going to be just almost like a form. And you're not even hardly going to see the, the white tree. Um, it just kind of is the form for this well wishes tree or warm wishes tree is what I'm calling this. I guess well wishes would work as well. But now I'm not going to show the art side. I want to show the well wishes side. I want to see my friends, um, you know, comments and their signatures and, and the scriptures they wrote in the uh, on the inside and most of the insides are kind of solid anyway and so it makes it I think it just gives it a real pretty um, summer you know we see the the green and the yellow and there's some some kind of corally pink and blue and I just love the way of course white which is great for these snowy little trees but I don't even glue it I'm just sliding them in there and you can see lots of lots of signatures there. That was from the prayer group at my church. I have a couple of those, uh, which is great. Some were big and some were small. And so, of course, the smaller ones, I had split them into um, different sizes so that I could kind of um, tell which way I wanted to go with the tree. But I wanted them all on there. I just, um, you know, and I've... Like, again, I could say I could make another one. I could make a few more. My students sent me a bunch of uh, Get Well cards, um, thanks to some wonderful teacher friends that I have that encouraged them to do so. And they were so beautiful and so well written. And uh, so I could make a total different one with, with from all my students. And so that would be a fun one as well. But this one is from uh, just lots of wonderful wonderful sweet Christian people who care about me and Kevin and and um, are so supportive lots of scriptures lots of encouragement so just looking at this tree makes me you know feel warm inside and happy now here I'm just gonna uh, kind of dust it the ends and the little tips with some of the faux snow from the Dollar Tree and just using some Elmer's glue there Nothing special needed. Just a little bit of faux snow on the edges. I made a nice mess making this, but I've got it on a piece of paper, so I'm able to save it. Yeah, just real simple. Nothing too complicated here. I just tried to make the cards go every which way. You know, oh, there we go. We could save it. And I just love seeing the handwriting of people who care about me and Kevin. So encouraging. I uh, recently found out that I have another uh, mass that we're dealing with. And so um, I'm sure many more cards are coming. I'll have to think of something. Uh, of course, it's winter. We can make some more trees. Why not? I've got some more of those Dollar Tree trees. Now I'm just taking some white tool left over from the wedding in October and I'm just going to make a, a simple tie, tie it in a knot up here on the little top tuft of the Christmas tree. There we go, just a simple knot going one way and then I'm going to do the same thing and do another knot going the other way and then we'll just kind of trim and fluff those little tool pieces. I'm just doubling them up there. Yeah, just kind of cut those willy-nilly and about one inch um, width and whatever lengths that I had. Laid them out and then just tied them in a simple knot for our topper. Very snowy and pretty. I'm going to tuck that one under the one I just did before so it's easy to get the knot in there. All right, now just a quick trim so some of the loops don't show. I want them just to look kind of natural and and the tails to just fall off all the way around the tree. And I just love the way this looks. I'm 
I'm going to put it in my foyer, and if anyone asks, I'll be very happy to tell them what the cards are. I can think about all the wonderful friends and family who have sent me the well wishes and the warm wishes, the get well wishes. That's so encouraging. Sending lots of love from the Father above. I'm so thankful for them. Beautiful. Now, let's move on to this little blue tree right here. This is how it came from the store. It was flat on one side completely. It's from Hobby Lobby, and I bought it last year on the 90% off because I guess nobody wanted it because, I don't know, it must have been shoved into something pretty tight, some box. Um, but I watched Javon from Ginger Chick Rehab, and uh, she was kind of a rounding out. Yeah, I'm using my Furminator, Furminator that's Toby's brush, uh, to help out a little bit. But Javon was just using warm water, and then she just dried them and, you know, fluffed out the her bottle brush trees. But I thought this one, as I was putting it in the warm water, this one was had so much color in it that it's it's almost like my hair. You know, I do my roots once a once a month, and my hair has a you know it has a mind of its own, and uh, so I I understood this little tree <laughs> having to deal with my hair every day. But uh, I just used a dishcloth, and I just went up and down, up and down, up and down till it was dry. And the the little uh, the my dog brush really helped pull out some of the the tanglies there from where it was matted down in the box from Hobby Lobby. And uh, doing all that brushing up and down, up and down, kind of loosened out a few of the few of the the branches. So I just kind of gave it a trim, and you could see that you know it's not perfect, but it's round. It doesn't have a flat side anymore. So mission accomplished. So thank you, Javon. That warm water worked very well. I had to do a little extra work, but that's okay. I understand it. Now, I'm, you know, taking a leaf from everybody else's book. We just have turned against these little wood uh, circles. Uh, I, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that wood circle. I'm going to keep it for something else. But uh, we all want to put bottle brush trees into different doodads. So I've taken this little uh, taper candle base, just a glass base. And um, I took my little nippers there, and after I got it off the base, the wooden base, I kind of used it like pliers and made a hook there with the um, with the, the wire and put that into a big ball of glue. And I'm holding it at the top while I, it sets up, while it cools off and dries. So there we go. All combed and fixed and washed looking very sharp. I like the way this tree turned out. Looks so pretty there and I used two more of the taper holders. I just love the way that looks. It's the same color as the foyer, the walls of my foyer. I want to read a few of the scriptures that um, were on the warm wishes tree. This one's from Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And then this one's from John 16, 33. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Some great words of wisdom and encouragement from the Old and New Testament. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through the video. And, uh, you know, please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. Toby and I will be so thankful that you did. So until next time, from the Blue House on the Corner, we're sending you warm wishes and encouragement. God bless. We'll see you next time.